All right, hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here, and I wanna do a real quick video of this product that I received. Um, so this company reached out to me, asked me if I'd be interested in doing a review real quick of this uh, RGB floor lamp here, and I thought it could definitely help my room set up here. So this thing is um, a dimmable LED floor lamp. It's an RGB lamp. It can uh, do um, as far as different colors of lighting. So you can do like cool, warm, uh, you name it. You can do all those, uh, which is really cool about this lamp here. But as you can see here on the picture of the box, you know, you got this floor lamp here with like the circular um, top here that you can kind of angle and we'll play around with it in the video. Got a remote here. Now on the side, it does talk about what I was talking about. So here you have, uh, it can go from 2700 to 6500 Kelvin, which is awesome. It's dimmable. Uh, touch controls, remote control, non-flickering, so to be determined. Uh, and then it's an A plus as far as uh, energy goes. So I'm assuming maybe like energy rating, I'm not sure. Uh, and then on this side here, let's see what it says. Uh, it says input, well, net weight's 4,600 grams. It's an actual pretty dang heavy box when it came to my house from Amazon. Uh, I was not sure what it was because I didn't realize how heavy this was gonna be. Uh, input voltage here, cool temperature. Like I said, once again, 2,700 to 6,500. Uh, warning, do not drench. So just in case you didn't know, guys, don't drench your lamps. Uh, and then uh, it says forbid children to play alone, fragile, up, blah, 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 dimmable, yes. So all the same old, same old stuff. Now the company is called uh, McUxen, if I'm saying it right, M-U-K-U-X-I-N, not really sure. Uh, but it's around 52 bucks on Amazon with Prime Shipping. Uh, and there's an instant 10% off coupon code that you can apply at checkout if you are going to Amazon. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this bad boy out here and let's see what we got to play with. Okay, so good, nothing's taped together, so that's always nice. So let's go ahead and reveal, get this out of here. So it looks like we have a little notice here. So the remote control requires two AAA batteries, which uh, unfortunately I do not have with me. So uh, I'll have to get those real quick. Uh, and then we have a user manual here as far as the user manual goes. So um, I'm sure I can figure it out, but we'll play with it. And then let's go ahead and get everything else out here. So it looks like we have our actual top, which it's uh, actually a little bit smaller than I was expecting, uh, considering how giant this box is. But uh, it's this circular panel here, and then uh, it's attached to here, which obviously that's where we're gonna you know, plug the lamp up and have that going. So we'll put that to the side. I uh, got our remote control in here, which we'll just put that to the side. Looks like we have our power adapter here. So pretty simple. Looks like it's a pretty long cord, so that'll be nice if you want to try to hide it. And then uh, looks like we have nunchucks. <laughs> so, just playing, it's not nunchucks. But uh, there's the actual, you know, lamp stand. Uh, as you can see, it's just all completely wrapped up. So as I start to peel the snake skin off, it starts to reveal the actual uh, setup, which is kind of cool here. So you got your uh, plus and mine, or not plus and minus, but the power button, and then like your dim and all those little controls here. So as I'm getting this out, I'm gonna go ahead and just start putting it together. So as you can see there, guys, you just literally start to screw it together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick. All right, let's go ahead and peel all this off. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep on doing this. All right, so pro tip, you wanna start from the bottom and then work your way to the top. Cause once I started screwing it on, uh, I couldn't clamp this bottom portion because the uh, cord was not uh, working with me. So you wanna kinda let it hang 
start from the bottom and then work your way up. All right, so got the lamp stand here, you know, screwed together. It was a lot harder than I thought for some reason. I was just not doing it. I wasn't being smart. Um, but now I have it here. Uh, it's pretty tall. I mean, it's probably about at least, I mean, I'm 5'10 almost. And it's, you know, it's probably like five feet at least. So it's a pretty tall uh, stand here. So let me go ahead and I'm assuming the base is gonna be under here, which I can fill it. This thing is heavy. Here it is. So let's just go ahead and throw this to the side. And here's our base. It's pretty dang heavy actually, to be honest with you guys. Um, I'm gonna attempt, let me go ahead and lower my desk a little bit. And I'm going to attempt to actually just see if I can screw it on here so y'all can see. All right. So I got that on there. Now there is a, a thread down there at the bottom if you wanted to really get it nice and tight. I don't need to do that for this video, uh, at least for the video purposes. And I'm going to go ahead and get the top installed here. So there is just a little connection here that's sticking out that I just need to uh, actually connect to. See so if I can get in focus, there we go. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. There we go. And then just kind of push in, push down. Let's get this screwed on. All right, so now I got the head on and it swivels, which is nice. So depending on what angle you wanna go, you can go uh, back and forth actually, which is very flexible, I like that. Um, so let's do this. I'm gonna plug it up. I'm gonna turn off my lights in the background real quick. So that way we don't have any RGB or anything like that in the background. And let's see how it looks, um, which I will just take my camera off of the tripod and just hold it. And we'll see if we can get a good representation of kind of the color that you can get out of this. All right, guys, so I got it plugged up behind me here. As you can see, I have the RGB on. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of walk over here so you can kind of see what I'm looking at. So let me go ahead and switch the camera. OK, so here we go. So you got the lamp here. So what I have is I have it turned against the wall right here. And as you can see, it just goes all the way down. I just kind of put it in between my two desks right here. But what's really cool is like I said, is you can actually move, you know, if you wanted just to have it pointed up against the sky or ceiling, not sky, I don't know why I said sky. Um, but like I said, you can swivel it right here but like I said, with these uh, touch controls that you get right here, you can actually uh, play with that a little bit. So you can do the brightness where you can, you know, have it at one, two, three, four. And then you can go through the colors. So there's blue, there's like a yellow, pink, a brighter blue, red, and then it just kind of goes into like this, uh, you know, party mode, if you will. And then it kind of goes into like that fading color. So if you wanted to kind of just shift it in between different RGB colors, and then just basically go back and hit it again and it will start at red, which is where it left off. So it's actually pretty bright. Um, you know, so let me step back a little bit here. So like, here's my desk set up and then just kind of have it over here now to be determined where I actually put it, but uh, you know, in a corner somewhere off in the corner, you know, especially if my room's darker, granted, I have these dang bright, uh, you know, <laughs> sun coming through as far as uh, through my blinds here. So if it was darker, it'd look a heck of a lot better. But just to go ahead and show you real quick is if I change and hold the color button, that's where it shifts into the different color temperatures 
Uh, so once again, you can kind of do like a warm and then cool and just kind of go through the different color temperatures here. And that's what's really nice about this is that you can just use it almost like a, you know, softbox. And so if you want to use it as a softbox, which I wouldn't necessarily just put it right on you, but if you wanted to kind of put it like in a corner somewhere and have it on and you can just go through the different brightness settings, which once again, that's number one, number two, number three, number four. And it gets pretty bright, guys. I mean, once again, as you can see there, it's pretty bright. And I think it would actually look kind of cool, you know, if I was to actually, um, you know, do kind of almost like a, you know, set up like this, where I was sitting down at my desk and had just that brighter white in the background. I think it would look pretty cool. But like I said, that's kind of the look of it. So pretty nice considering, you know, the price. I mean, it's only, like I said, like 50 bucks or so after, um, you know, the discounts and everything that you get with it. But for the most part, it's definitely worth the money, I would think, because like I said, I mean, you're definitely getting a cool setup. It is tall. That's one thing that I do wish you could do is adjust it somehow and being able to maybe, um, you know, shorten the pole because you just, you can't, you can't at all. Like this is the height. So you're stuck with this height. But like I said, if you have it tucked somewhere in a corner, maybe behind a, a bookcase or something like that, then it's gonna work just fine. So there you have it, guys. There is the RGB slash light lamp. Uh, so if you are interested, do follow my affiliate link down in the description. So hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless. We'll see you on the next one.